Hi everyone, this is JG the Blue Rain DVD Collect 05 here, and I thought to do a sort of different video. Uh, as part of Halloween, since it's the month of horror, I'm going to be showing off uh, my horror film collection, and this is going to be starting with my entire Saw movies on DVD. So, obviously, this contains from Saw to Saw 7, which is the final chapter. So, yeah. Uh. I've watched all of them, and I thought I'd give you a brief overview of all the Saw movies and review a couple of them, uh, since there are some I really do like. So, anyways, let's get started with the review. So, starting things off, we have the first ever Saw movie from 2004, starring Gary Eels, Danny Glover, and Monica Potter. And narrowing and gets a trip. We dare you see Saw. This is the uncut version of this film, and yeah, so this is the first Saw movie with the front covers, very bizarre, of, of the X-ray of the foot, which is, I don't know if it's really that unnecessary, but here's the front cover, it's rated at 18, as you can see, and yeah, like I said, it's the uncut version, and there's the reviews there. So, here's the front cover. There's the side, released by Lionsgate. And here's the back. There's, there you go, Dare You See Saw. A rev revolutionary shocker. And this is on for a hundred, approximately a hundred minutes. And yeah, this is the first ever film that came out in 2004. So, yeah. And here's the disc inside, which is in a mirror version. And I guess I'll show you this. It's just advertisements for other uh, release of the DVDs. But yeah, there we go. Uh, so my brief thoughts on the first saw. It's okay. Uh, at first, I did like him. Um, the second time. Uh, wasn't really that interested. It wasn't really that good for the first Saw film. Uh, but third time watching it, uh, that I've just watched, uh, it wasn't actually too bad. I actually didn't mind the first Saw at all. It was pretty decent, quite a decent film. And, yeah, this it does scare me a little, but, uh, if I watch it over and over, I will probably understand the film. And, yeah, so... Yeah, this is my ranking for the first Saw movie, as I give this, um, uh, probably gonna be 6 out of 10 for this, but, yeah. Uh, Saw, pretty decent movie, but not my favourite, however. So, yeah, that's my brief thoughts on the first Saw movie. And then, a year later, we have Saw 2. Now, this is my favourite Saw movie, in case people didn't know by now, because you've probably seen this in my horror DVD collection that I've shown a couple of years back on my old channel. But, yeah, uh, We Dare You Again, a super shocking tale of the terror. Tale of terror. Uh, so, I actually thought when I watched, when I had Saw 2, I actually thought it was, it was the movie. I actually thought Saw 2 was just like the first Saw like, yeah, I wasn't sure which one, but uh, Saw 2 was definitely my favourite. Um, uh, nothing to do with uh, Danny Glover. I don't think he's in this film, but, I mean, Saw 2 was definitely one of my personal favourites. Definitely the most iconic, especially these two fingers on the front cover, which look kind of creepy, but a great picture. But, yeah, yes, there will be blood. Of course it would, because it's a horror movie, of course. But anyway, it's again rated an 18. So here's the front, side, and the back. This is on for 89 minutes. And this came out in 2005, the year after the first film. So here's the bonus features on the back. Um, here's the bonus features for the first Saw. I think I've already read those. But, yeah... Uh, so yeah, here's the disc inside, and I'm not going to show what's in there, but oh, I love that jigsaw per character on the 
uh, disc artwork. I want to play a game. Yeah, that was definitely some of the most iconic uh, Saw uh, memes. But yeah, Saw 2, uh, a really great movie. Highly recommend you watch it. Uh, great, great sequel to, from the first Saw and definitely uh, a step up from the first film. But yeah, uh, Saw 2, definitely one of my personal favourites. So that's going up at, uh, at the top of my... Uh, Worst to best on Saw films. We have the director's cut of Saw 3, which came out in 2006. And more Saw, more gore, packed with bonus extras. Now, I did not expect to get the director's cuts, but uh, I actually ordered this from Amazon a couple of years ago. Um, but uh, I got the director's cut of this version, which I suppose isn't too bad. I mean, I have saw the direct. There is the director's cut for Saw and Saw Two, but I just didn't manage to get the director's cut. But if I do find the director's cut of Saw Two, I probably might get that. I don't know, but anyway, here's the director's cut of Saw Three, which um, Saw Three at first I really hated, but uh, that's probably why I gave it a couple of years until I can watch the rest. And, yeah, to be honest, it wasn't that great, to be honest. I mean, it's alright uh, for the uh, for the scenes, but it's just scary overall. But, I mean, not a bad film, I suppose, uh, watching it now. But, yeah, anyway, here's the front cover, side, and the back. Here's the special features, uh, which you can read there. And this film's of 116 minutes. It's an 18, contains very strong, bloody violence and gore. So, yeah. Here's disc one with the uh, artwork on the front cover. And then disc two with a woman screaming when uh, being chained. So, yeah. Uh, Saw 3, not a bad film. Uh, but not, not good, but not bad. I suppose. Next up is Saw 4, which uh, this is the extreme edition. And to be fair, uh, Saw 4, again, um, pretty much the same as Saw 3. Not good, but not bad uh, for a film. I mean, they can get very gory in each ending, which really does let me down a little. But yeah. I still enjoy the Saw films. They are really uh, great, in my opinion. But they can get rather scary as well. But, yeah. And some for 91 minutes. And, yeah, it's uh, quite gory for the fourth Saw film. But, yeah. Uh, to be honest, not, not bad at all, I suppose. But... Anyway, that's my thoughts on Saw 4. And then Saw 5, um, which actually wasn't a bad wasn't bad at all. I really did like this film. In the end, all the pieces will fit together. So yeah. Uh so for Saw 4, uh Saw 5, sorry. Um I just yeah, it was it actually I actually I don't know if I prefer this over Saw too but i'd say this is probably a step up uh probably worth watching and something 92 92 minutes so yeah everything about saw 5 just amazing the gore and all the classic all the iconic scenes in saw 5 are definitely my personal favorites and 18 contains strong bloody violence likewise yeah, and gore for the fourth film. But anyway, uh, Saw 5, uh, definitely a great film. Highly recommend it. And if you haven't checked it out, you should definitely do so. Uh, so Saw 5 is a good film. So definitely one uh, is worth picking up if you are a Saw fan. So yeah, that's the extreme edition of Saw 5. Then we have Saw 6, which uh, really was gory, to be honest. And... Was a let down to be honest. Just the ending, I just hated what they do to the characters at the end. Just ah, oh, really gory and that, and stuff like that. Not my favourite Saw film at 
not my not really my favourite Saw film, but probably one of my least favourites. Some for 80, 88 minutes, strong bloody violence, race in 18. But yeah, uh, special features there. But yeah, I just hated the ending to this. It was just really ball, ball, man. It was just, I really did not like Saw 6 at all. Just hated, hated what they happened on the character. But I do like that character, though. There's some good characters in the film, but other than that... It's definitely probably my least favourite Saw film uh, of all time. So, yeah, that is definitely going to go at the bottom of my worst to best on Saw for movies at the end. So anyway, that's Saw 6. And finishing up, we have Saw, the final chapter, which I'm going to say it's, it's quite bad as well, but actually not bad at the end. I mean, not a bad ending, I suppose. And I mean, it was just the cl the classic ending, game over. Um, just like the first Saw film, and really did. Uh, it was actually not bad, actually. The characters, just I just hated what they did at the ending. It was just qu quite, quite terrible what they did at the ending of how they killed everyone off at the end. But, well, that's just horror films for you. But, I mean... I say an okay ending, but again, just a real letdown. Something 90 minutes long, but yeah. Uh, so, so the final chapter. Uh, I would recommend buying it if uh, you are gonna watch the rest of the Saw Saga. If if you do. If you like Saw Final Chapter, uh, I respect your opinion. But also, uh, yeah, I also forgot to tell you, this was originated as Saw 3D, as it was in the cinema. But they just sort of changed the title to Saw the Final Chapter. But, yeah. Uh, uh, just great characters, but other than that, but other than the killing, it wasn't really that bad at all. But... I think after watching Saw, the final chapter, there is a spin-off called Jigsaw, and probably after watching the final chapter, I'm really not going to bother with buying the spin-off Jigsaw films. Uh, but anyway, that is my thoughts on all the Saw films. So here are my rankings of Saw movies from worst to best. Uh, so the worst film is going to be uh, Saw 6 with, with the... Uh, ludicrous ending with the gore and stuff like that so that's definitely going at the bottom uh saw the final chapter again just like saw six really gory but actually not bad uh saw six saw four again not bad but not good the first saw movie uh quite decent film overall saw three not good but not bad Probably better than the first Saw. Saw 5, uh, one of my personal favourite Saw movies. And because of the uh, characters and the uh, iconic moments. And finally, Saw 2, the most iconic moments of Saw 5. And still my favourite Saw movie out of all seven of them to this day. So that's Saw 2. Thank you very much for watching my collection overview of my Saw movies and listening to every thoughts on every film. Hope you enjoyed. And as part of Horror Month, I thought I'd do this since I don't usually do this type of thing, showing all my saga and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, be sure to leave a like down below, comment below to see if you want to see more reviews on my horror movies. And maybe I might do an updated horror movie collection, I don't know. But I will see you again next time, and also comment below to see what's your worst to best of Saw movies. Are you a Saw fan? And I'll see you next time.